Hello, uh, this is Nicholas here, and I just wanted to share a little bit of uh, some quick tips here with the new Mantaflow fluid system in Blender 2.82. So uh, the first thing, because I recognize I have lots of beginners, so let's just kind of start at the beginning of the process here. Uh, also, I'd like to apologize for any background noise. There's nothing I can really do about it. So we've got a cube in our scene, and we'll just press F3. And then we'll type in quick smoke and bam, we've got a uh, smoke domain and we've got our cube here, which is our smoke emitter. And this is the same as it was before in uh, 2.79, 2.8, etc. in the old system. But you'll notice when we play, we don't see anything happen. Um, and that's exactly how it should work. There's nothing wrong with that right now. The new way that uh, it happens is by default, it's in the modular type of simulation. And so this lets you kind of bake out your data in pieces. You'll see over here, I've pressed bake data and now it's currently baking and we're not gonna let it finish. We just wanna get a little bit there. And now we've got this nice, you know, smooth viewport playback there. Uh, and so that's all well and good, but let's suppose we want to update things faster. We want to have a kind of preview. And so for that, you would change your cache type from modular to replay. And that will make it essentially how it was in the old version. You'll see my frame rate goes way down, but we're calculating our fluid simulation in real time, and we're getting that nice preview there. However, uh, one thing with this is Unfortunately, if you, uh, you know, let's just like move this cube around and change the size and then we go back and you'll see that it's not updating. It's still storing our cache the way that it was before. And then once we get to the uh, part that we haven't done, now we're seeing our new change where we've made our cube smaller and moved it. So let's just pause that and go back. And the reason why I made this video is just to show you guys a quick fix around that because I've seen a lot of people online getting upset about how the replay is responsive. So a really easy way to do that is just uh, go over here and change your divisions. I just go down one to 62 and then I'll go back up to 64 and you'll see that it's reset our uh, whole simulation and then we can replay it from the start. Uh, so that's really all I had to share here. Uh, I hope that's helpful for somebody out there and have a wonderful day. Consider liking the video, subscribing, sharing it with your friends, and uh, stay healthy, stay safe.